In the impeachment inquiry into President Biden, there have now been subpoenas issued for both Hunter Biden and the president's brother, Jim Biden. If they are not responsive to these subpoenas, will you vote to hold them in contempt? Absolutely. Absolutely. Why would they not be? What do they have to hide? There was money influencing peddling that Biden had during his last couple of years as vice president. And then well, after, right afterwards, they wanted to gain the money back. Let, you know, let me just, uh, you know, yeah. Can I just ask you, Go you ahead. say yes, absolutely. Why have you changed your position on holding people in contempt of Congress? You voted against holding Steve Bannon in contempt. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here. And North Carolina Congressman Greg Murphy got exposed for being a lying hypocrite in a recent interview, and it left him looking like a complete buffoon. CNN's John Berman held Murphy's feet to the fire over his double standard of holding individuals in contempt of Congress. Murphy's hypocrisy was impossible to overlook. We have somebody who's not an elected official. Yeah, the president of the United States was selling his influence. His son I, I, was no, selling but I don't understand. Influence. We're talking about the people you're talking. different standards, John, when you have somebody who's in elected office versus somebody who's not in elected Steve office. Steve Bannon He's wasn't in elected of office. States. He was the vice Steve, president well, I'm, of the United I'm, I'm, States. Who, who, are you saying, who are you saying was in his elected office here when you're talking about holding people in contempt of Congress for being non-responsive? Well, what, tell me what office Steve Bannon was in. Well, tell me what office Hunter Biden so, was in. No, I'm not talking about Hunter Biden. I'm talking about Joe Biden, the President of the United States. The House Oversight Committee, under the leadership of James Comer, has issued subpoenas for Hunter Biden and James Biden, the President's son and brother. James Comer, the chairman of the House Oversight Committee, has been targeting the Biden family relentlessly. He's had the help of Mars to train wreck green every step of the way. I'm just trying to understand to the difference. I'm just trying truth. to understand the difference when you're talking about congressional subpoenas. You voted against holding Steve Bannon in contempt of Congress when he didn't appear before the January 6th committee, which was a committee, you know, yeah, but was, elected was for Steve by Bannon Congress. Related to the president of the United States? No, he, he was. Wasn't. He, no, he, he was. He was a, a former employee of, of President Donald Trump, and the other people who you did not vote to hold in contempt literally worked for the former president, Donald Trump. So my answer yeah, to that is, is yes. Son. March has been belly aching about the Republicans not doing enough to hold the government accountable. Marge's idea of accountability is harassing the Biden family. Now that the Republicans have united behind an election denier in Mike Johnson, they have chosen to go down this divisive path. It's an entirely different standard. It's an entirely different standard, John, and you know it. I, I, I'm just, I'm, no, I don't. I'm actually still confused. We're talking about private citizens. And my question to you is, if they are not responsive to the subpoena, would you hold them in contempt? You say yes for Hunter Biden. You voted no for Steve Bannon. And, and then you talk about there's a different standard for elected officials, but neither of them are elected. John, Hunter and Jim are related to the former vice president and now the president of the United States, intimately involved in business dealings. Remember, Joe said he didn't know anything about Hunter's business dealings. He didn't know anything of that point blank lie. Ask Sam Donaldson, good God, he exposed Biden to be a fraud decades ago. And now we're seeing that he's actually lying again. Joe Biden is a pathological liar and his, his son Hunter is intimately involved in these influence peddling schemes. They're two entirely different issues, Johns, and trying to put them together is just really conflating uh, I, the I, issue. I was asking about congressional subpoenas, but we do appreciate your time. Congressman Greg Murphy from North Carolina, thank you very much. The claims that he's made up against the president have been outrageous. Comer never presents proof of wrongdoing because he doesn't have any. Clowns like Comer and Greg Murphy are peddling the illusion that the Biden family did something wrong. They have concocted this scheme to harass Hunter Biden as a distraction. For nearly two years, Republicans have done nothing for the people who sent them to Congress. They have made chaos their highest priority. The drama is designed to incite anger in an undereducated crowd. The morons that fall for this nonsense are the Trump faithful and they don't fact check. Murphy started talking tough and threatened contempt charges if the Bidens didn't comply. John Berman wanted to know why Greg Murphy would consider holding Biden's son and brother in contempt when he had voted against holding Steve Bannon in contempt for refusing to comply with the congressional subpoena. This is the question that stumped Greg Murphy. John Berman smacked Murphy upside the head with a two by four and left the Jacqueline scrambling for an answer. Murphy couldn't explain his double standard.
Murphy displayed the very two-tiered system of justice that the Republicans are always accusing Democrats of. Greg Murphy is a do-as-I-say, not-as-I-do jackaloon that wants to regulate a woman's body. Greg Murphy is a sellout that worships at the altar of the Republican dollar bill. Every one of these MAGA jackaloons needs to be voted out in 2024. The last election day, voters sent a clear message to MAGA and gave them a glimpse of what to expect in 2024. Let's vote every one of these jackaloons out. It's time for us all to do our part and vote the GOP out. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.